Hello again, and we are back with another simple recipe. So here we go. Today, we are going to make an organic chicken, and we're going to do it in the air fryer. So the first thing that I do is come over to the air fryer, and I am going to heat it up. And what I have to do is tell it that I'm going to cook chicken. Okay and we're actually going to cook it at 370 so let's get that started and then what we do is we come over let me put you in the holder and as i said i always try to do an organic chicken and this one is about five pounds so first thing i do is i open it with my scissors over the sink, you may hear my cat in the background who loves the chicken juice. And being a carnivore, he can handle that, right? So what you don't see is it's down in the sink here as I rip off the plastic. Okay, I'm doing that. And now I'm taking, let's see, I am going to reach into the center and take out the gizzards. And I'll set those to the side and show you what I'm going to do with those in a minute because I make soup. And so that will be cooking for another day. And oh, look, this one had the neck. Interesting. It had the neck still attached to where the neck is on a chicken. Okay, so I'm going to rinse it real quick. And then I'm going to shake it and get as much water off as I can, All right? And then I put it on a pan, which you should be able to see fairly well. I'm gonna grab a towel to keep me from making a complete mess. And I like to use this spice, right? I also use it on my pork. And so now I am gonna just shake it over the whole chicken. So that the whole chicken has the spice on the outside. Okay. And for good measure, I'll put a little in the inside. And I'm doing it on a sheet pan because when I finally take it out, I will put it back on here to cut it. So now I have the chicken. All right. Let's do this. Let's take this whole setup back over to the air fryer and see if we can make this happen. Okay. There you go. Let's see if we can get you back up. All right, everybody with me? So the air fryer has been heating for about five minutes while we prepared the bird. And now I'm gonna just take it out. And I have my receptacle, right? And I have learned that the best way is to put the chicken into the air fryer face down to begin with. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so it is in the air fryer face down. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to slide it in there. And now I wanna cook this for 25 minutes. And then I will flip it. So it's 25 minutes on chicken. And let's see, it is at 370. It'll stop and we will be back and I'll show you how I flip it. Okay, so we are back and the air fryer has just finished. And look at that. Okay, so it's brown on the top. And let's see if I can put this in here in a way that you can see it. Let's try it like this. Okay, so I am going to, with a fork and a grabber, I think they actually call that, uh, well, whatever they call it. All right, so I'm gonna pick it up, kind of reaching in like that, and I am gonna just flip it right over and center it back in the machine. Okay. Okay, so I flipped it and dropped the phone and now that is the other side up. So, real simply, I am in my own way. Always good to have a lot of space. So, 
we put it back in here, all right? And we will turn it back on. 370 is good. We are going to put it on meat and we're going to do it for 25 minutes. And we are going to make sure that it's at 370 and start. And then we will come back in 25 more minutes and we'll have the chicken finished. See you then. Okay, we are back at the almost last stage. The very last stage would be to cut the chicken, but it's finished. So look at that. You'll remember that when I flipped it, that was still kind of raw-ish looking. The other side was the one I put down. So I bring it over to my little island here, right? And being very careful not to burn myself, right? I am going to take my grabbers, is what I call them, probably not the technical word, and that might not work. So, remember I'm a dude, so trying to figure out how to, how to cook this as a dude and hold the camera, that's the tricky part. Okay, but let's just caveman this then. Jam in there, <laughs> that works. And we got it out of the pot. There's juice down there too, which I can use for putting on top of it or putting it on potatoes, make gravy if I wanted to. And there you have it, we have an air fried chicken. Woohoo! So, I look forward to hearing your comments, thoughts, and enjoy your healthy food. Thanks.